Now let's start. Uh, I'm Che Jun Tang. The topic I would like to say this afternoon is uh, post virus syndrome after COVID-19 and its TCM treatment. The second peak of the COVID-19 pandemic has passed in the UK and or maybe in many European countries. Many patients sold some secure symptoms after COVID-19 was killed. At two, that mean maybe the temperature back to normal, the, the virus uh, became negative, but the patient still have some symptoms. Ryan Perry and uh, first used the name of the post-virus symptoms, post-virus syndrome, post-COVID-19 in uh, June of last year, after the first peak of the pandemic. Traditional Chinese medicine had showed a good effect in the acute stage of COVID-19 treatment. In the past virus era, it also can play an important role in the post virus syndromes of COVID-19. Next are the common symptoms. First is fatigue. More than half of COVID-19 patients have sold in varied degree of fatigue. It has called post-virus fatigue syndrome, just like uh, ME, also called uh, chronic, fatigue, chronic fatigue syndrome, CFS and ME. I think uh, many of you have uh, treated a lot uh, of case of ME before. The reason of ME is not very clear, but people, doctors believe it is connected to the EB virus infection. So if the EB virus can cause in the chronic fatigue syndrome, so COVID-19 virus also can do the same. So actually in the clinic, many patients after the virus is gone, they feel fatigue. TCM theory believes that the mild cause of the fatigue are due to qi and blood deficiency. Look at here, qi and blood deficiency is the reason of the fatigue. But what reason causing qi and blood deficiency? I think mainly is three reasons. Number one, high fever, high temperature. COVID-19 uh, patients used to have the body temperature is very high, can be over 39 or 39 degrees for maybe for a couple of days, even a week, high fever. So in Chinese medicine, we believe high strong fever, pathogenic fever will consult the qi. We call it zhuang huo shi qi, consumption the qi. So that is uh, one reason. And the other reason is the medicine. What's the medicine? When the patient getting COVID-19, he must take in some many tablets like paracetamol, maybe sterile tablets, maybe even some antibiotic. So all the rest of medicine can cause in the qi and the blood deficiency and even some more strong med medicine uh, in the hospital, if uh, the patient is in the hospital. And also some patients take uh, Chinese medicine, maybe herbal medicine. If the prescription contains too many bitter and cold herbs, like uh, Huang Qin, Da Huang, Shi Gao, something like that, it's very bitter and cold. So it can cause in the stomach damage and making the patient qi and blood deficiency. So that's the reason of the fatigue. So that is a chronic fatigue syndrome after COVID-19. Second is depression. After a few months of lockdown, almost everyone has a certain degree of the negative psychological impact. So more than few months, nearly whole year, 
uh, lockdown, uh, people have to stay at home or work at home. Many people feel depressed. Yeah. Chinese medicine theory believes my reason of depression is due to liver cheese stagnation. Liver cheese stagnation causing the depress. What reason causing the liver cheese stagnation? Like what I said, lockdown at home is one reason. No matter the patient has been infected or even no infect, nearly everybody after one year lockdown didn't have a social uh, life and isolated at home, very alone, from home, maybe just one person or, or, or two person. So uh, that causing fear, depression. And some people have, have to stay in the hospital if they get an uh, infection, if a severe case, get treatment in the hospital. Hospital getting the isolation treatment. They can see more patients. Some people died in the hospital. This can affect his mood, causing the depression. And also, uh, like um, uh, which one of my colleagues before they mentioned, PTSD, yeah, post dramatic stress disorder. Yeah, PTSD, yeah, also during the treatment in ICU and uh, both. He sees so many people died and he get very bad emotional stimulation. So causing, that is the reason of depressed. Another maybe is because he lost the job or reduced the income. Thirdly, is primary fibrosis. According to the report, about 21.5% of SARS patients had sold the image of a primary, primary fibrosis during the recovery period. I can show the original paper that is published by uh, some Chinese research uh, after the SARS of 2003. The proportion of the primary fibrosis in the COVID-19 should be similar with SARS. It has been reported that the average survival time after diagnosis of, of the primary fibrosis is only two to three years. And the mortality rate is higher than most of the cancer. So primary fibrosis also called chronic cancer. Same like cancer, it's very difficult to treat. Number four is fibromyalgia. Some patients has experienced the body aching after COVID-19 and the pain is wounding. The position is mildly in the muscular skeletal system of the bike and lamps. The pain is usually combined with the fatigue and the depression. Like we mentioned before, fatigue, depression, muscle achy together. The Western medicine diagnosis this muscle pain as fibromyalgia. The reason of this disease is not clear, but it is believed to relate it to the stress immune disorder and EB virus infection and other factors. The cytokine storm caused by the COVID-19 virus is very likely to be the new cause of fibromyalgia. Number five is heart failure. Research showed the COVID-19 firstly involved it the human body through the ACE2 receptor located on the cell surface. Many patients developed the viral myocarditis and the pericarditis after COVID-19, which lead to the heart failure. For some elderly people who have the history of coronary heart disease, after COVID-19, the patient can still be aggravated by the heart failure or arrhythmia. This becomes the main reason of the death of the elderly COVID-19 patient. Look at this picture. The important commodities 
between the SARS-CoV-2 and the SARS-CoV-2 was found. SARS-CoV-2 used the SARS-CoV-2 receptor, that is ACE2 receptor for intracellular. This is the SARS virus. Look at SARS virus. This is COVID-19, also SARS-CoV-2 virus. From the structure, you can see they are very, very similar. They share the same receptor to enter the cell, which is ACE2. So because they are very similar, so the symptoms they cause also very similar. The, the treatment reaction to the medicine should also be very similar. This picture shows the COVID-19 virus into the share through the ACE2 and causing the cyto cytokine storm, interlocking two, interlocking six, interlocking uh, one alpha and interlocking eight, and the B cell, NK cell, T cell, and causing the multiple organ failure, not only heart failure. Heart failure and also primary uh, uh, pneumonia and heart heart failure, cardiac failure, and also can be kidney failure and brain function damage, multiple organ, multiple organ failure. Number six is the lost the sensation of smell and the taste. COVID nineteen patients were lost. Many people lost the smell sensation, and in some cases, the patient lost the taste. Uh, this condition is very, very common, and it has been become one of the characteristic of the symptoms for the diagnosis of COVID-19. At the beginning uh, last year, and uh, it's not very convenient to do the virus test. Some people just diagnosis just because the patient lost the taste and the smell, we can give the diagnosis. Maybe 80% uh, uh, can be is COVID-19. After the virus, the recovery of the smell and the taste is often extremely slow process. And it is still uncertain whether it can be completely recovered. Some people believe this condition is uh, reversible, but the process it can be, uh, the, the taste and smell can be come back after a year. But if you get some treatment, maybe it can come back quickly, maybe just one or two months. So even it is uh, reversible, but if we uh, get some treatment, we can make it completely recover and also quickly recover. Number seven is impaired productive function. Studies have sold the COVID-19 is toward the lung cell and the ACE2 receptor, protective pathway. The expression of ACE2 in the ovary and the Testes indicate that this enzyme affects the germ cell and the fertility function. This has been approved by the uh, research report. The COVID-19 may cause in the male or female infertility. Not only men can be both gender. The impact of the virus of, on the fertility function will be gradually relieved in the future. Not really immediately, of course, because only one year, we can't see. But after next few years, maybe we can find more and more people can suffer from the infertility, which may be due to the COVID-19 infection. It is similar, like the infertility caused by the very mumps. Very mumps can cause in the, only cause in the male infertility. But COVID-19 can be causing the both male and female infertility. Uh, the last one is 
uh, I just uh, added this uh, about a uh, while ago. It is a uh, reactive arthritis because I read this uh, report. It was published uh, just a few months ago at uh, December last year. Uh, this author is um, from Pakistan. This report, you can read uh, on the internet, the whole paper. And you can see, this is uh, the joint. This is normal. You can hear, here you can find some uh, infection, knee joint. This infection is uh, a kind of a reactive arthritis after COVID-19. Funny enough, I also noticed in my patient, at least three of my patients after COVID-19, they have similar joint pain. And one case uh, at the her cervical vertebra has developed osteoedema. Osteoedema also called the bone edema or bone marrow edema. Very bad pain on the neck. I think maybe this is also is kind of reactive arthritis. So be careful. If some COVID-19 patient come to see you, uh, if they have the arthritis as joint pain, maybe it is related to COVID-19 called reactive arthritis. Next, shall we discuss in some uh, TCM treatment? The TCM treatment, first, post viral fatigue syndrome, because in TCM, we believe this is due to qi and the blood deficiency. Of course, the treatment should be tonified qi and nourishing the blood. Which formula is the best of qi tonified? We all know, si jun zi tang. Which is good, best for nourishing the blood? Si wu tang, yeah. Si wu tang, si jun zi tang. It's good for qi tonified and blood nourishing. We can use them at the same time. And also, Gui Pi Wan or Gui Pi Tang is uh, another good option. So we can use Gui Pi Wan, Chen Xia Liu Jun Zi Tang, plus Si Jun Zi and Dan Xia Chen Pi. So Si Jun Zi Tang plus Dan Xia Chen Pi because uh, lung is matter and spleen is earth. By tonified earth can benefit the matter. So Chen Xia Liu Jun Zi is for this uh, purpose. We can add the, the Si Jun, uh, si jun Zi Tang for tonified spleen and benefit the lung. So that is uh, about, uh, look at this is uh, from NHS website under post various fatigue uh, of the COVID-19. It's very common. So that's why I put it at uh, the first. The second is the post virus depression and the PTSD. The depression and the PTSD, we a treatment principle is the uh, same for remove the teeth stagnation, remove the liver teeth stagnation, and come in the heart shen, which uh, Dr. Tianjun Wang has uh, mentioned yeah, uh, about the depression and mental problem treatment. I would like to select the Xiao Yao, Xiao Yao San first. Xiao Yao San, if powder we use, we call Xiao Yao San. If the pills is a Xiao Yao Wan. If we use a decoction, that is Xiao Yao Tang. Another is Cai Hu Shu Gan San, similar like Xiao Yao San. Also, Bai Zi Yang Xin Wan, if heart shen disturb, we can use the Bai Zi Yang Xin Wan, Tian Wang Bu Xin Dan, and Gammai Da Zao Tang. Gammai Da Zao Tang is for treating the Zhang uh, Zao syndrome for some hysteria. Yeah, we can use Gammai Da Zao Tang and sometimes uh, for sleeping problem. It also works very well. Uh, this, uh, I usually focus on uh, for uh, depression treatment, I select at least five formula. Uh, just uh, each formula pick some herbs. This picture shows uh, the mechanism of the 
逍遥散 for for anti equation. It was published one uh, for a group of uh, my former colleagues in China. It's very good uh, uh, research. It conserved Xiao Yao San formula and uh, through uh, the, the, the target drug target network and it could affect and produce a similar function like anti depression. I don't recommend to, to take anti depression because anti depression has a lot of side effects. It doesn't work. Many people after take anti depression will feel more depressed. So causing a lot of side effects. In this condition, nature herbs, nature anti-depression should be a clever choice. Thirdly, it's post-virus primary fibrosis. Because the primary fibrosis, the patient breathing function will be getting worse and worse. So like the, the cancer. So it's quite difficult to treat. In the Western medicine, they don't have a good solution for the primary fibrosis. My opinion is we can use Qing Zhao Jiu Fei Tang. Qing Zhao means clean the dryness. Jiu Fei means to save the lung. Qing Zhao Jiu Fei Tang. And Shu Zi Jiang Qi Tang. Shu Zi Jiang Qi Tang is uh, very commonly used uh, for asthma treatment. So it's good for uh, primary fibrosis. San Zi Yang Qing Tang, also good selection. And uh, modified Yu Ping Feng Sa. I made a super link Yu Ping Feng Sa. Let me check if it can go to my blog. I published a paper just uh, in my blog, uh, just talking about the modified Yu Ping Feng Sa, to treat in the primary fibrosis. And also I made a short video about this. You can, you can see the, the short video after you click this uh, super link. You'll find my short video. Uh, this research uh, has a, a, a a research used the animal model. They gave the mass to injection the blemishing and to cause in the laboratory uh, animal model of the fibrary primary fibrosis, and then gave the Yuping Feng treatment. And they found Yuping Feng San can significantly uh, reduce uh, the primary fibrosis. It's a very interesting research. Uh, for some single herbs for primary fibrosis, I recommend these five. Number one is Danshen, and then Huang Qi, and then Sha Shen, and Chuan Xiong. This one is uh, Hu Zhang. First of all, Danshen is most commonly used for treating the fibrosis, not only Primary, primary fibrosis, but also for the liver fibrosis, kidney fibrosis, many fibrosis, tension is a very good selection. But others uh, is good for primary fibrosis treatment. At the, I have read a report, Shandong TCM University, where the a PhD student, they published uh, a paper about uh, use the Chinese medicine treating the primary fibrosis. They have uh, developed a, a patent medicine. That is uh, many years ago after, after the SARS. And uh, the patent medicine called uh, Fei Wei Kang. Fei Wei Kang is a special for treating the primary fibrosis. The Meyer ingredient similar like this. We use dancing. Uh, next is the Fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia, I think uh, the pain, muscle aching. Acupuncture is the first, is good selection. 
some fibromyalgia are combined with the fatigue, with the depression, or maybe no fatigue, or just only pain, only muscle pain. Acupuncture is the first choice. We have uh, many uh, acupuncture uh, specialists. We all have many experience on uh, pain, uh, treating the pain related to this. Depend on which area pain. We can use uh, subcutaneous acupuncture. We can use the ordinary acupuncture. Yeah. Just uh, we can use archer points. Also, we can use the distance points. So I don't take uh, time to discuss it about acupuncture treatment. But fibromyalgia, I strongly recommend this. try acupuncture. Um, heart failure. Like we mentioned, the heart failure after COVID-19 is quite common. Uh, maybe some patient is heart failure, some is uh, not failure, but the heart function reduced, discount. Uh, maybe they just feel short of breath after exercise. And also some people, the heart rate keep on fast. Even COVID-19 passed for a long time, but the heart rate always around 90 per minute, still a little faster than normal. Now, even do a little exercise, it can go 100. So that is heart function is reduced, not uh, as bad as the heart failure, but the heart function is reduced. So this condition, we can use Xue Fu Zhu Yu Tang, Shen Mai San, Si Mi Tang, and Ling Gui. Zhu Gan Tang. Yu Tang is original from Qing Dynasty. It's uh, from Wang Qing Ren. I often use this formula for treating coronary heart disease. Many research so it can improve coronary circulation of the heart. It benefits the agenda. So Xu Fu Zhu Yu Tang is, uh, if you search, you can find uh, Hundreds of papers published about Xue Fu Zhu Yutang. Even it is the ancient uh, 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 traditional formula in the Qing Dynasty, but it uh, has been widely used in the clinic. Sheng Mai San is from Shang Halun, from Zhang Zhongjing. Only three ingredients Ren Shen Mai Dong Wu Wei Zi. It's good for treating the uh, we can put these three ingredients inside the Xue Fu Zhu Yitang and to benefit the heart, benefit the heart function, improve the heart function to treat him and uh, prevent heart failure. Si Ni Tang, also from Shang Ha Lun, only three ingredients, Fu Zi Gan Cao Gan Jiang, only three. So, we also can put, uh, according to patient symptoms, we, we are, uh, we can't uh, make sure we must use which formula. According to different patients, maybe they have different clinical manifestation. We select a different formula according to patient symptoms. Maybe Si Ni Tang, if more yang deficiency, we use Si Ni Tang. If more yin deficiency, we use Shen Mai San. If more blood species, we use Xue Fu Zhu Yu Tang. And Lin Gui Zhu Gan Tang can experience the water retention in the heart and the lung. So Lingui Zhu Gan Tang also from Shang Halun. So in this condition, Lingui Zhu Gan Tang also is good choice. Fu Lingui Zhu Bai Zhu Gan Tang. It seems quite uh, simple and, and easy, but uh, it works very well on some heart failure patient. Number six is the, the treatment, uh, how to treat in the lost smell and taste after COVID-19. This picture shows, uh, you see, uh, the taste, taste the bath. There is a nervous connect to the brain and also the smell. Orifactory bath also connect to the brain. So that's why patient can uh, have the sensation of taste and the smell. But after COVID-19, maybe the nervous has been damaged. So the patient lost the taste. 
handle all smell. Uh, I mostly recommend to use acupuncture. For smell loss, we can puncture some points around the nose, like Yingxiang. Yingxiang large, large intestine 20, and Bitong, Bitong also called upper Yingxiang, just uh, above the Yingxiang at the, on the nose, and Yintang between the two elbows, and Shangxing in here, and Bai Hui at the, the top of your head. Also, we can use some scalp acupuncture. Uh, for the treatment for lost smell. And sometimes we can use the electric and you can add some electric stimulation. After a couple of sessions, uh, smell can be uh, retained. Uh, if good treatment, maybe just, just one or two sessions, very quickly recover. And for lost taste, we can put some needles on the stomach already. Uh, stomach meridian, the distance point is a stomach 36, definitely. But the local points can be used uh, stomach 4 and 6. 4 is Di Chang, 6 is a Xia Che, just around the mouth. Also, we can use the Lian Quan at uh, Ren 23, uh, just uh, on the neck, on the middle of the neck. We can use Lian Quan, Di Chang, Xia Che, and also uh, Stomach 36, Zhu San Li. These points can help for the taste loss. Number seven is infertility after COVID-19. Uh, like we mentioned before, the COVID-19 after, if take a few more years, maybe we can find more and more men or women suffer from the infertility. If they ask their history, maybe they used to get the COVID infection. Ovary function or testic function has been damaged by the virus. We also can have Wu Zi Yan Zhong Wan, this very famous formula. It can improve the spoon quality and the quantity uh, and to improve the spoon mortality improve the semen, semen uh, liquefaction time and increase the reproductive ability. Wu Zi Yan Zhong Wan. Wu Zi means five seeds. Look at Go Qi Zi, Che Qian Zi, Tu Si Zi, Wu Wei Zi, and Shang Fu Peng Zi. Fu Peng Zi. These five seeds mean Wu Zi. Yan Zhong mean develop the uh, generation. Uh, to pro product the next generation, one mean pills. These pills, also many pharmacologic research has been done about this Wu uh, Ziyan Zhong Wan. This super link is, uh, it can go to my English blog. It's one of my paper talking, just discussing about this uh, the paper's title is The Magical Fight Kind of Sea. You can uh, have a look uh, to, uh, to get some more information about Wu Zi Yan Zhong Wan. Uh, currently, Wu Zi Yan Zhong Wan not only treating the male infertility and also suitable to the female infertility, should be the first choice for the infertility treatment. Uh, last one is uh, reactive arthritis. Reactive arthritis. Chinese medicine basic theories believe it is kidney dominated the bone. So any medicine, any herbs or acupuncture, if we can tonify the kidney, that will benefit the bone. So the treatment principle should be tonify the kidney and strengthen the bone. I would like to select Modified Du Huo Ji Sheng Wan. Du Huo Ji Sheng Wan, one is tonified the kidney and the liver. The other is expire wind dampness. Wind and dampness. For treating the rheumatoid arthritis or 
osteoarthritis. I often use this to treating arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is due to wind cold and uh, we call it B syndrome. It is due to the wind cold dampness, three evils. So global Jing one has good function. And osteoarthritis mostly is due to the age because the, uh, especially the ladies after the menopause, they have osteoporosis. After osteoporosis, they have some joint pain here and there, and mostly uh, is the knee joint pain. That is, uh, can be osteoarthritis. But reactive arthritis should be similar treatment with the rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis. We also use the same treatment principle, same formula. Modified group position one, how to modify it? I often select my tutor's uh, idea to add some teng category herbs, like Quan Jin Teng, Luo Shi Teng, and Ji uh, Xue Teng, and Qing Feng Teng, Hai Feng Teng, a lot. After two o'clock, I will have, I will deliver uh, a CPD course, yeah, Laka CPD course, just talking about uh, um, the treatment. Uh, today we're talking uh, treatment of the metabolic syndrome. And then next week we will be talking about treating, how to treat the B syndrome of uh, the uh, B syndrome, just a joint pain uh, with my, uh, my tutor, Professor Deng's clinical experience. Mm, so that is another big topic. But I think if the joint pain is a, maybe they don't have the history of joint pain before, just happened after the COVID-19. Maybe it is due to the reactive arthritis. That is a, a new report just a few months ago it, uh, published uh, by a doctor uh, in Pakistan. Conclusion. No matter what kind of post-virus syndrome after COVID-19, we all can help. We can help with angiopuncture, with herbs. So, okay, that's all for today. Uh, I don't take too long time, just um, uh, this is uh, 40 minutes. We have a question uh, time. I'm happy to answer any question if you have. Great, thank you, Dr. Tang. Yeah. Uh, thank you for your great presentation. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for your attention. Yes, now it's time, it's Q and time. So if anyone have some, some questions, we have five, 10 minutes for questions. Dr. Tang, could you stop your sharing, please? Someone asked, uh, thank you very much, how we can get the recording, please. Okay, uh, the recording of today's uh, presentations will be uh, published soon on our LACA website and LACA uh, Facebook link. So you are more than welcome to watch this recorded uh, videos. So we can see Jing Lianhua. Oh, you're so, so lovely smile. <laughs> and you can see Thomas from Germany, Jing Lianhua from Slovakia, Slo 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 isn't it? Slovakia. Slovakia, Slovakia. A lot, a lot of thank you. A lot of thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you it's you. very nice, very nice. Thank you. <laughs> Can you see Thomas from Germany? Can you see Roland from Netherlands, isn't it? Okay, good. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. Goodbye. 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 Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye.